The clock is ticking for millions of health care workers to get vaccinated against COVID-19 under new federal guidelines. And some hospitals in our area fear that this could lead to vital frontline health care employees quitting just as we head into flu season amid the pandemic. 10 Tampa Bay's Emerald Morrow takes a look at the delicate balance that hospitals have to manage in order to keep you safe. It's a wonder anyone in the healthcare industry has even just a few moments to chat. So nurses and our interprofessional colleagues are suffering from exhaustion, from burnout. Raina Letourneau has more than two decades of experience as a nurse, and through USF, she trains hundreds of other nurses on the front lines. We are seeing an increased number of healthcare professionals leave jobs at the bedside, which is putting our hospitals and our patients at risk because there just aren't going to be enough nurses. Adding to those shortage concerns, the Biden administration's requirement that healthcare workers are vaccinated if they work in a facility that gets federal dollars from Medicare and Medicaid. The refusal has cost all of us. Some of the hospitals in our area, like All Children's in St. Pete, already had vaccine mandates in place. Others, like Tampa General, said they would comply with the new rules. At last check, TGH said 74% of its staff has received the vaccine. We don't want to lose more nurses because of hospital vaccination mandates. However, it's really important for, ha for hospitals to be able to put these mandates in place to ensure that we are not spreading diseases and potentially increasing risks to our patients. Data shows most healthcare workers want to be vaccinated, but for those who aren't. I think the best action would be to find out why the nurses do not want to be vaccinated. Do they not have um, the skill set to evaluate research or what can we offer them to help give them more information so that then they can make a decision and hopefully um, become vaccinated? Now, doctors say even though COVID cases are declining, there's still a concern about flu season and the two together could overwhelm hospitals and staff and decrease the quality of care when and if you do need it.